Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and today I want to talk to you about spooling braid on your bait casting reel. And there's a couple little tricks about that that you really need to know in order to get the most benefit with from braid. First of all, what I've got here is a spooling station here from Berkeley. I really like this. I've had this for, I don't know, two or three decades now. I don't know how long I've had it, but it works really well. It's inexpensive. Um, great way to put your line onto the, uh, to the reel. You just attach your reel here, put your spool here, and you're ready to go. If you don't have something like this, you can do it the old school way. The way I used to do it is just take a pencil and put it between the, uh, in the hole there on the, uh, on the spool. I'd, take the line, put it through my rod, and then I literally hold onto the spool with my two feet. Just grab the pencil on each side, hold it between my feet, and then I can just reel it on that way. But the spooling station makes it a lot easier. It's not so awkward, so that's why I use it. All right, the first thing you need to do is put your glasses on if you're my age, <laughs> and then so you can see what you're doing. You want to take the line, you want to put it through the eye, this little eye of the bait caster, and then with a lot of these bait casters these days, they've got these little holes like a wiffle ball here in the, in the spool. That makes it great. You can stick your line in that and then just crank your reel just a little bit. Remember if you got like a six to one gear ratio, one full turn of the reel handle is going to turn that spool six times. So you don't need, you just need to bring it around once. It'll bring that line through. Now you're ready here. What you want to do is tie an arbor knot. And this is a real simple knot. You just do a quick overhand knot. And once you have that done, you, you clip off the tag end and that prevents any problems once you get to start spooling the line on you won't have any issues there and now you just tie one more overhand knot onto the line that's that's coming through your your uh, your eye now what you're going to do is you're going to cinch it down tight by pulling it through the front of the reel and what will happen is that that knot will hit that first knot that you made, it's going to hold it in place so it won't come undone. But last thing I want to do is I want to take a little piece of tape here, just a little piece of scotch tape, real thin, and put it right over that knot. That helps hold it in place on the reel and kind of buffers that knot a little bit so it doesn't cause any problems when you're putting the line on. Now here's the trick with braid. First of all, clench your drag all the way down as tight as you possibly can. Now grab a nice terry cloth towel. Don't use a leather glove or anything like that, but a nice terry cloth towel. I want to grab a hold of that line. And what I do is I'll show you here. I, I, I grab it like this. So I kind of put a kink in the line. I want to put as much pressure on it as possible. And I hold on to it and I crank it on. And I put a lot of pressure on while I'm cranking it on. Here's the reason for that. With braid, a lot of times if you get a backlash, the braid will dig into itself on the spool and it makes it really, really hard to get that backlash undone. So here you want to apply as much pressure as you can. And, this, and the key here is you don't want to be able to put your fingernail in between any of, the, any of the line. And it's packed real tight, I can tell. Pack it really good and tight. Make sure you can't get your fingernail in there. When you do that, the line can't dig into itself, and you solve that problem. But here's an added bonus. What happens is the line spools off the reel a lot easier, and that's important when you're flipping and pitching. It makes it a whole lot easier. The line just comes off just like butter, so it's great. Okay, and once you have it up, you don't want to fill it up all the way. You want to leave about an eighth of an inch of line left to the edge of the spool. The reason you want to do that is because when you depress on the on the on the button on the reel, it actually is kind of a lever. It comes out open at the top, but it presses down on the bottom. And if you have too much line on the spool, it's actually going to touch that line, and it's going to inhibit the way you, for your casting. It's going to cause a problem. So don't fill it up all the way. Right about there, and that's about right. Now that you're done, you just clip off the line, put it on your rod, spool it up, and you're, you're Tie on your favorite lure and you're ready to go. Hope that helps. For more tips and tricks like this and for the answers to all your questions about bass fishing, visit BassResource.com. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you want to watch more videos like this, click one of the images on your screen right now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.